What you corn think about, muffins. What you think about uh, Charleston White? I think he's a plant. Go a little deeper with that one. You really want you really want me to go? Yeah. On your podcast? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. So, you have these. What does Charleston White do? What he said he's a community activist. That's what he said. He said he's a community activist. Did you do the research on him? I haven't. No. Nah. Okay. I nobody seen, nobody seen, has no background on him, right? Seen a little bit of, you know, with, with some old videos, but like, you know, no heavy research. Okay. So I could say, hey, I used to work for a defense contractor for a year and I helped to sell uh, security cameras and, and military weapons to uh, uh, Europe, right? Nobody does the research. I could just say anything, right? Sure, yeah. Right? So he's a plant. So a lot of times now on social media, which can be very, very dangerous, right? People come out of nowhere. And then they get access to podcasts like yours or other podcasts. And then they say this outrageous shit. And the next thing you know, they're being paid to come on platforms to say outrageous shit to trend. There's no background. There's no substance. What are you going to gain from this? Who is he? What does he stand for? He's a plant. So anybody can be planted on social media and they sit with the right person. They go viral. Everybody's contacting them. Then they start charging. And now, you know, they're going from platform to platform just to spew opinions. He's a plant. Do you think, <clears throat> like, some of the things I hear Charleston speak about, I think it needs to be spoken on. You know, for for starters, like I hear him talking down against gang violence, gangs in general. But yet um, he got online to say he was gonna bust a cap in Ti's young son. Yeah, uh, but I, I don't think he. I think that's out of context a little bit because what he actually said is that if you put your hands on me, this is what I would do. But isn't that gang violence too? No. Yeah. If, no. No, it's not. You... If, if somebody tells me they're gonna attack me, like that's called self defense. Okay, that's called self-defense, but at the at the same time, if this man is so called is a so-called community activist, believes in let's say Black Lives Matter, believes in young black youth doing better, first of all, why is he online talking shit about a kid? That's a child, and you know how it is being a brat, raised in a a wealthy house, and you got whole social media up your ass. You're short, you're light skinned you're not the best looking and their and his parents threw him into social media into this world without really any foundation yeah his daddy come from it but without real no real preparation he's still a black man let's 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 get that processed and you have a grown man like Charleston White talking shit about a child he's still a child king is still a child King ain't no damn child. King is a child. Man, no. You have kids? Yeah. How's your, how's your 16. Oldest? 16. So when your child is 20, first of all, a child, this is why I love, like, you know, the African culture so much. You know what I'm saying? That's why when he got me an African husband, my kids are going to school. I was surprised that your ass came and, back. They said you had ran to Africa and wasn't coming back. Nah, nah. I, 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 I have dual citizenship. They, so, um, <laughs> you know, I, because I think in America, we, we think kids are kids. I mean, we think kids are adults when they're really children. A child is a child is not done being a child until they're like 25. That's why the insurance rates are still high. That's why they can't really drink or smoke. That's why they can't get guns. Sometimes they can get guns because they still do a lot of fucked up shit. And we in the black community, we are raised to just send our kids out at 18 and expect them to just get it. You know what I'm saying? King is still a child mentally. And for Charleston Wright being a grown man sitting up online, first of all, King didn't say anything about this grown man. It was Charleston that said it when he was paid to be on a podcast to say it. And then now you want beef with the kid that's got everything to prove because his parents threw him in the spotlight. I think from context wise, what I saw was Charleston speaking on, um, uh, uh, Kanye and and Ti and then both the the kids spoke up against uh, both Tootie and and uh, uh, King said something about Charleston. 
Char so so actually King saw a video of Charleston saying, I'm gonna call the police. There they go, he's pointing some people out. And then King made a video saying, Oh, look at this bitch ass nigga, he calling for the police and da 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 them blue right. lights saved you. Me personally as a father, when I watch that video, <clears throat> first thing, I'm I'm checking my son flat out. Like I you know, I rock with T.I. I you know, obviously I had, you know, had him on the podcast, mm -hmm. had Boosie on the podcast. I sat down with Boosie and told him the same shit. Like I, I believe, you know, at, at my child, I'm talking to me as a father, I'm immediately checking my child about going and making, you know, any type of, you know, statements to another grown man because it puts me now in a position where I got to be forced to respond and have to take on whatever now has come with that, that comment or that, that video that he made. And you said keyword. I'm checking my child. Mm -hmm. I'm checking my child. Charleston White is a grown ass man. And you said if my son says something like this, I'm checking my child. 100%. So when when Ti made the video to say you come at me, you don't come at my. That's a child. We're still forgetting that y'all, you are a grown man. Charleston White's a grown man. Ti's a grown man. That should have been the only conversation that they had. Charleston should have ignored the child. That's a child. But you getting online saying, oh, you do something to me. You say you're going to do something to me. I'm going to bust up. I'm going to do this. That that right there, you capping. You capping for social media. That's not civil rights. That's not leadership. That's, that's industry plant shit. For you to stir up shit between the communities. It's how we respond. I don't give a fuck how a child is responding. That's a goddamn child. I'm going to address the adult. These kids now operate a little differently. Like we we not operating with the kids that we grew up with in the eighties and the nineties. These little niggas are bust your head wide open. And that's and that's the father's fault. Like these kids now, like that's y'all fault. I ain't even gonna put that. Dumb niggas is strapped like, like that's y'all fault. Like different. And they have to be. Not not like they this. Like, they have to be. Some of these little young niggas is crazy. Like these little niggas is not operating with the respect of of adult versus child. But, They're not operating but, with any of that. Why would you as a kid off. that grew up with your father in jail, mother doing the best she can, why would I respect another black man? And it wasn't a black man that showed me how to be better. When they look around, <clears throat> they don't see respect. That's why they carrying guns. That's why they they coming at each other. That's why they, they you know what I'm saying? They beefing over rap lyrics because they have no black men to respect. They have nothing to look up to. It's only what's in the present. And as black men, when you have platforms like yours, when T.I. has a platform, when Boosie has a platform, it's imperative that y'all go and be the big brothers, that y'all give them something to look up to instead of judging them when they're children, knowing that when they hit 30s and 40s, they're going to evolve and look back and say, damn, that was stupid. If I only had somebody that I could look up to.